Hey folks, it's Sunday. Hello folks, it's Monday. Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. Saturday. Sunday. First things first, before we get to the thoughts from home part one elementary school style, we have something to change. Ha! I got new glasses. I think it makes me look like the, um, the guy from Up, the old man. I don't remember what his name is, but... So I think I'm just gonna chill at my old elementary school for a while. After I ate a little bit of breakfast and did some work on my website, I packed up a bag and got on my bike. My elementary school is roughly three miles away from where I live. So this is the school I attended from the age of five to 11. Except when I went here, there wasn't a picture of a boy sitting on the toilet. This is a set of bars outside of a classroom that I once ran into while talking to a friend. This is the flagpole that I ran into when I was in fifth grade on the second anniversary of 9-11 when the entire school went out to sing the Star Spangled Banner. When I went to school here, none of this landscaping nor any of the bars and fences were there. This is the basketball court where I first fell in love with basketball and learned to play. This is the corner that I was standing in when my best friend's little sister showed us how she had two rows of bottom teeth because her baby teeth hadn't fallen out yet, so she sort of looked like a shark. This is the section of the playground that I spent pretty much every recess during fifth grade at. This is the tree that I ran into when I was playing Marco Polo with my best friend. This is where I was standing when my friend Hudson shoved a snowball down the back of my shirt. This is where my ex-best friend Rebecca used to beat me up after I decided I didn't want to only be friends with her. Cause she was psycho. This is where I was standing when I found out about 9-11. This is where I almost killed my best friend because she was jumping off it and I didn't think it was safe so I grabbed onto the back of her shirt to stop her and she hit her head. <laughs> this is where I was sitting in first grade when someone first asked me to be their friend. His name was Cody and he had a ferret. This is the first place a boy ever lifted up my skirt. Fun fact, the boy who lifted up my skirt later turned out to be gay. This is where the girls tried to teach me how to play Cat's Cradle before I got bored and went back to play tag with the boys. This disgusting concrete slab used to be a field where we'd play tag and boys chase girls. This is the classroom where I learned how to tell analog time. This is the house that me and my best friend used to spy on because we were convinced it was haunted. This was the safe zone for every tag game I ever played. I hope no one's stolen my bike. That would suck. Hey, nobody stole my bike. This is where a teacher first threatened to send me to the principal's office because I was at a fight with a boy named Jeremy. This is me acting ridiculous on a swing set. And now back to sweaty gross me. Okay, so that's about, about as fun as I can take for today. This concludes part one of Thoughts from Home. And, uh, whew. Abby, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. I'll pack a place. Look, alpacas. This is like a mile away from where I live. <laughs> and these are the ditches that people dumped dead bodies into.